Hello champions, we got a brand new character to preview. It is Seth Rollins, Embrace the Vision. Gonna see him at 5 star silver. Coach ability at 9000 is pretty damn useful. Leech gems do 25% more damage. Move that generate leech gem will create one more leech gem. Now, obviously it is a limited use since there's not that many people using leech gems. It's gonna be pretty darn useful for those that do though. He has links with SmackDown and Modern Era, and he does have two gears. One that makes it so that all color moves start with three more MP, and the other all color moves that deal damage would deal 150% more damage. So, so pretty, pretty damn useful. Well, the first one we're gonna have a look at, which, uh, by the way, we're gonna have a uh, title belt on, or a strap, I should say. Uh, it has double fury on so that we're gonna get 40% extra and uh, 5% so we're gonna get 45% extra gem damage thanks to that and I do have just random trash fury uh, Metals there one's level 12, but the others are all level one well, The first move set is gonna be the stump 10 MP black move finisher deals 140k damage destroy four random blue gems and pin the opponent Sling Blade, 4 MP blue move, deals 42.7k damage, and choose a 2x2 two two area to swap into black gems, and a Dodging and Zaguri, 4 MP blue move, deal 51.8k damage, and gain 4 black MP. Trainers will be using for that, no MP trainer whatsoever. Uh, first, like the blue move, they cost 4. The gear gives us plus three, so it's, we start with four right there. And we also have the, the normal perks that are on also, that also boost our MP. So we're getting like seven of the bat. So we definitely don't need anything else there. So we're gonna be using Ambrose. So that black move that deal damage will deal 45% more damage. We're gonna use Kofi. So that black move deals damage that will deal 30 percent more damage and the uh, 20 percent from the red we don't care we're going to use all of fame mdm for another 20 percent on the black move and i don't have gooker so i'm using uh, montez that will add 10 percent more damage to the black move and destroy one extra although we don't really need because he was already destroying four and it costs four to reload let's try that looks pretty effective on paper let's see how it does on the battlefield which I forgot to pick an opponent. Now let's go versus Hall of Fame Eddie. He's gonna have 10% extra HP and 10% extra gem damage. So he's soaking 43% of the gem damage, but I'm doing 45% extra. Uh, he is soaking also 18% bonus uh, from the moves. As far as his offense, well, look here, what do we have? So starting with three more MP, 150% more damage. That's because I got both gears on. Start with three MP, match plus two, I mean, basic stuff. Should even out. Right, so we're gonna add our black. I'll use it anyway. I'm not gonna put it in a spot that will do anything. I just want the 100k damage from the move because I don't want to risk my turn ending on this. Because I want to do my 484,000 that I do with that finisher. <laughs> Stump almost looked more like a kick than anything. Right.
So same thing here. I don't really want to match with anything because I don't want to risk it. Like I could do a bunch of damage if I do it here, but I might end my turn and I'd rather be sure to do over 600k every turn. <laughs> Now, there wasn't much blue on the board, unfortunately, so that didn't reload my moves. What? We're not going to be ready, we're short. Take us an extra turn. Black. Now this time I don't really have a choice to put it somewhere that it will match because I do need the MP from it. Although I don't want to overdo it. Just getting what I need and the finisher is going to do it. That stump really looks underwhelming. go didn't went too good because i was short on blue but you guys get an idea of how it works pretty effective move set recycles really well unless you don't have blue <laughs> all right let's look at something else now all right second move set for set we're gonna use the other uh the other skin or the other gear just so that we have a look what it looks like Move set for that is going to be the Diving Blockbuster 9 MP Black Move, deal 74.3k damage and swap a 3x3 Random Maria into Red Gems. This is the 5 star move right there. The straight side kick 9 MP Red Move, deal 71.6k damage and choose a 5 Black Gem to destroy. And a Turnbuckle Power Bomb 9 MP Red Move deals 76k damage and make all Black Gems into Multiplied Gems of Strain 4. Now trainers, we don't really have a choice to use an MP Trainer because even with the gear and the, and the perks, we're starting with 7 MP but the red costs 9. So if we don't want to lose the first turn, we're going to be using Butch, could use Sting as well so that we start with more reds. We're going to use Matt Hardy so that we... Uh, or multiplies are going to be doing six instead of four could be destroying more black could be using black uh, gem damage as well but we're going to get more out of matt uh, using memrock so that or gems are going to be multiply seven instead of six uh, and do five percent more also and i'm going to be using angelo dawkins so that red moves do ten percent more and we'll destroy one more, so we're gonna destroy an extra black right there. You got a bunch of options, obviously Memrock is pretty damn rare. You could use like red uh, red damage, you could use uh, red move damage, I mean. You could use black move damage, you could use black jam damage. I mean, you got a couple options you can use for coaches there. Right, so you also, instead of Butch, you could start with uh, instead uh, Bray. Problem is, doing that 3x3 three three area is more than likely going to cause an early pin. As in, if you start with Butch, you'll be able to use both red moves before you get that early pin. Because it definitely will too. There's no way you're going to do all three moves. Alright, let's do that. Same setup.
it does add a different pants also. Well, we're gonna make all blacks into a multiplier of seven. That means they all do 84.7k now. We're gonna pick six to destroy. Picking those, it will cascade this one here. Well, that did a pretty big amount right there. Almost didn't kick out of it. Now we'll reload or red. Probably gonna cascade into an early pin. Especially since one landed on one of those seven multiplier right there. Still kicked out. Not gonna kick out of the next one. All right, let's make all black again into multiplies. And destroy six of them. And he's out. This is damn effective. It does rely that on the fact that you gotta have some blacks on the board so it is board dependent for that although i mean the board is moving quite a bit so there's a pretty good chance that you're gonna get it all right let's look at something else all right third move set is gonna be basically a small variation of the first one I'm gonna be using the second gear for this one just for the looks moves are gonna be the stump 10 MP black move, finisher deals 140k damage, destroy 4 random blue gems and pin the opponent. The falcon arrow, 9 MP black move, deals 77.1k damage and increase your blue gem damage by 144% for 2 turns, does not affect bonus damage. And the Sling Blade, 4 MP Blue Move, deal 42.7k damage, and choose a 2x2 two two area to swap into Black Gems. Trainers for that are going to be the first, the same we use on the first, Ambrose, so that we do 45% more Black Move damage. Kofi, so we do 30% Black Move damage. Uh, All of Fame, HTM, for an extra 20 and Montez for an extra 10 and destroy one more. Again, if I add Gooker, I'd use him instead of Montez since we really only need four more than five. But in this case, the five is kind of useful because the blue should do a lot more damage. Now, both black moves do a substantial amount of damage too. also means that we do have to match that black square so we get some MP. I don't need much though. I can do only a single match and I'll get both. Don't want to risk my turn ending. There you go. So you see just the Falcon Arrow itself is 260k damage right there. And we add on top of that the 484k that this is going to do. And my blues are going to do 15k each now. Since they got 144% more damage. So in that first turn we did half his elt. And actually, he did not even kick out of that. <laughs> but we could have done the same thing on the next turn. That worked out pretty damn good. And I think that's a, my favorite gear, too.
Well, yeah, that's pretty much it for Seth Rollins. Really good character. Is he top tier? Probably borderline top tier. Uh, I mean, I'd have to play a little more with it, but if he's not, he's pretty damn close to it. Uh, is he the best of the strikers? Not by a long shot but still a very powerful character and everyone's gonna get him later today as a trial uh, again you will earn boat gear for the trial as well uh, true i believe is tours uh, although you don't get to keep the gear you're gonna need to unlock them on whatever event they cook up for on friday well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. If you have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. G out. Ciao.